there's this interesting little weird, weird of all of Revelation's weird imagery. This might be one of the weirdest. Uh, there's the the those two witnesses that yeah. stand up and prophesy, and then they everyone hates <laughs> hates them because they're sort of. Um, they, they they pray and stuff like that, and tribulation falls, and they, they can dry up the, the the rivers and turn things to blood and all the kind of stuff. They and then they're they're killed, right? Mm. The society kills them, and then uh, a few days later, God raises them, you know, from the dead. Most likely, those that is a another one of John's strange ways of depicting the whole this whole time period of us waiting for Jesus' return. And the witnesses are understood to be God's people now, right? Mm. There's two because um, you know, in the Old Testament, you have to have two, at least two witnesses, right? Oh, that, okay. Yeah. I got, I get it But now. it just represents, yeah, it okay. represents God's people corporately. Okay. It's, it's just a little vignette, right? It doesn't, it, it's almost like plopped in there mm -hmm. as a little standalone uh, episode or whatever, right? Interesting. That gives you a different perspective. I hadn't thought of that one. And okay. what they do uh, and this is this is you know th there is oh, debate on everything, but this is kind of the mm. a, uh, probably one of the most maybe the most common view and most mm. scholarship on this. And um, uh, they they're patterned after Moses and and Elijah, oh. the prophets, right? This is oh, very just kind of crazy stuff. But yeah. the point is, they're depicting the way that we're supposed to where that the church is expected to be in this time, right? Mm. Which is people that bear witness to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um. And that um, as we bear witness, God may be sending tribulation and, and judgment on, onto this world, right? Um, but at the same, at the end, you know, the beast overcomes us by death. And in a, there's, you know, that's what happens in that hmm. story. And in other parts of Revelation, the beast is given power to destroy them. Hmm. And then God brings them back, right? Eventually, his people, God's people will be vindicated on the last day. Hmm. Those are the pictures that Revelation uses about how Jesus' kingdom advances now. The call in Revelation is, is not to try not to invest messianic hope in one of the horns of the beast, right? One of the beastly figures, but to bear witness to by our lives, by our words, um, is to bear witness to Jesus and um, yeah, to suffer, right? Hmm. Right, or, or Paul, or Paul, John, pictures it a different way when he talks about the marks, the mark of the beast, the mark of God, which we talked about. 